right-hander Scotty Adelman. 6-2-205 from Norwalk, Ohio, and Tiffin University. One hit in the inning, it was the leadoff batter. Here's Hilario De La Paz, a little college action, throw down to second, nobody's there. Mason Eckelman throws it down to second base, nobody covered the bag, and the run scores to tie this game at six. And this inning continues to be very poorly played on the defensive end. That's not Mason Eckelman's fault. His job is to throw the runner out. But he will get the error. And the main 6 nothing lead is gone. Runner at second, two down. Ball, the pitch was a strike to De La Paz. And this one runs in outside. And I think maybe that one crossed up Eckelman a hair. And Adelman taps himself on the chest to say, my bad. Now the 1-1 one -one pitch. Hit out toward left center field. This one dying, it will drop for a hit. Coming in to score is Evan Laurie, and the Kings have the lead 7-6. Four unearned runs in this seventh inning for the Paints. De La Paz with an RBI single. Kings earned the three runs in the sixth inning. They were hitting the ball all over the place. The Paints have handed them out freely here in the seventh inning. And so the Kings in front, 7-6. Ball inside. Don't know what it is about the Kings here in this second half of the season, but the Paints just have not looked like themselves for a whole game uh, against Champion City. Three errors tonight. This one in for a strike. This team fifth in the league in fielding percentage coming into tonight. Playing a lot of really clean baseball. One one pitch misses way outside, two and one. Two errors and a wild pitch here in this inning. Three in the ball game. Pitch here swung on and missed, two and two. And Klein's line is done, he goes One inning, gets up four unearned runs on one hit. This pitch just missed, two walks. And this one lifted out to left field. That'll hang up for Mendez, who makes the catch to mercifully put this inning to bed. Champion City scores four unearned runs. Top of the order for Champion City as they come to bat here at the top of the eighth, leading 7-6. First pitch breaking ball in for a strike from right-hander Scotty Adelman. And the 0-1 pitch from the right-hander misses low and away. Paints led 6-0 after five. Champion City leads 7-6 after seven tonight. And now the 1-1. One, one. In there for a strike. Never count this Champion City Kings team out. Like the Paints, they can put up runs in bunches. They've certainly done that here tonight. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Missed outside. Now the 2-2 pitch from Adelman. Swing and a miss. It's Braden Quinzel for the first down here in the eighth inning. 
And the paint's off the next two nights. Back on the road to Champion City on Wednesday. 6.35 first pitch. Next home game for the Paints is Thursday against Champion City. 7.05 fan appreciation night. Post game fireworks by Budweiser. And it's also a thirsty Thursday. So draft beer just two bucks on Thursday. Here's Tyler Cox. He takes a strike. Base hit for him last time up. One for three tonight. Couple of strikeouts and hit by a pitch on his night. Now the 0-1 from Adelman. That one misses outside. One ball, one strike. One-one, hit hard out towards second base. Carmichael has it, throws to first. And there's out number two. Four-three ground out. And go back to one of those two errors in that seventh inning that led to the big inning for Champion City. Now Carmichael charged with an error. You really can't blame him. It's not like he made a bad play. He slipped as he went to throw it, and that... You know, turned the, the throw into a bad one. The other error was on a throw down to second base. Uh, nobody was covering the bag as a runner was stealing. First pitch here in for a strike to Ben Bach, but those two miscues turned into four unearned runs. The Kings took full advantage of the a little opening they got. Nobody on two outs here. The pitch misses low and away from Adelman. One ball, one strike to Ben Bach. Two for four tonight. Solo home run in the sixth inning. Reached on a fielder's choice and scored the first of those four runs in the seventh inning. And now Adelman delivers. Just off the plate away. Two balls and a strike to Ben Bach. And the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Did he go around? Yes, he did. Two and two. Good umpire Dorsey Hager ringing him up there. Has a good look. Staring at it right down the first baseline. Into the right-handed hitter. And now the 2-2 from Adelman. Chopper to third, and that goes foul as Owen Wilson lets it go in the third base coach's box. Slips out of the hand of Adelman and sails to the backstop up over the batter. And now three balls and two strikes. Full count here. Nobody on two outs. Kings up 7-6, top of the eighth inning. Adelman trying to work a 1-2-3 inning. Now the 3-2 pitch. Ground ball up the middle, and that'll scoot into center field. A two-out knock here for Ben Bach. And he has his third hit tonight. And that hit number nine for Champion City. Our Champion City and Lucas Day will stand in. Day has reached and scored his last two trips. He is one for four tonight. Doubled and scored in the sixth inning. He reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the seventh inning. First offering here is in for a strike. Oh, one misses outside. Now the 1-1. One, one. 
Tried to go at the back door breaking ball and missed it away. Two and one. The pitch. That one finds the outside edge. Two and two. Lucas Day at the plate with a runner at first and two down. Champion City in front, 7-6 here in the top of the eighth inning. And the 2-2 from Adelman. Swing and a miss. Two strikeouts in the inning for the Paints right-hander. King Strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the eighth here in Chillicothe. King six paint uh, King seven paint six on 100.9 WXIC. 